Uh, okay, so today uh, webinar is about my invoice portal. So here we have the LHDM provided two environment. One is sandbox environment. The another one is actual environment. So usually for the sandbox, if it's first time login, you need to submit the uh, you need the email pin to login. But if it's actual production one. Uh, it's just the normal based on your current business. Like if you already uh, paying for tax, submitting for tax, then you don't need to log in as a first first time login. So you can just directly log in and then go to my invoice portal. So for today, I show you the uh, pre production stuff from the first time login. So you can click into the pre production my tax. Uh, portal. Then after you go to my text portal, this is the first page that you can see. So this is the pre-production. Then you can you need to select the identity type. Uh, usually maybe it's IC number. Uh, for the first time login, it must be the company director. So here you need to select the uh, ID number and then you need to put the your IC number. For example, for the first time. Uh, usually, uh, if it's valid IC number, uh, this one is passport. Okay, so this is the page that you can see. So, digital certificate not exist. You need to click my invoice to request for the digital certificate. So, here you can see the email. Then, after you click yes, uh, this email will receive the PIN number. So, based on the email, then you can log in. Okay, so this is the first time login process. Then I show you the. Okay, after you log in, then you can select your ID and then you can put the valid ID number to log in. So after you log in, so this is the page that you can see. So currently, uh, you haven't submit for the first time. You haven't submit any company. There is no company under your name. So you need to go to profile here, and then you need to go to role application. Under role application, you need to select the role type. It's new application. Uh, from new application, uh, you need to select the type of application here. For the type of application, you need to select directors of the company. After you select the directors of the company, you need to put the, the company that you want to assign to yourself. So after you put the T number, then you can see the details. So from this details, uh, one more step is you need to submit the supporting document. So if you click this I icon, you can see the list of documents can be uploaded. Usually, uh, the supporting document must be supported. This company is under your name, under this uh, this name, this individual name. So once this document can support, after you upload, you need to click this uh, button. Then you need to acknowledge it and then you submit. After you submit, usually it will be added to your uh, list. For example, here I already have two company. Uh, so status is accepted. Application date, everything will be updated. Then, uh, so here if you want to terminate, then you can terminate. So this is the first step for the director. Then second step is you need to go back to my text. Page. After you add the company, you, here you can see individual, but you, if you click in, you can select. So directors of the company here, you can select Big Ledger, uh, your own company. After you select the company, again, you need to go to profile. 
So from profile here, then you can see here extra tab, which is a point of representative. So under a point of representative, then you can start adding your uh, stuff who can access this my invoice portal. So here you need to select the ID number or passport number. Then you need to add, put their name, their IC. Then here you can see text bill information. Then you click submit. After you submit, it will be listed here. For example, we already have three representatives. Then if you want to cancel, you can cancel anytime. So, okay, so after you're having all these things, then you can go to my invoice portal. So here, top top side, you can see my invoice. Then you can click into it. After you click into it, it will direct you to the my invoice portal. So this is the my invoice portal. Here you need to make sure that you are using correct taxpayer information. Sometimes it will be changed to individual, but, but sometimes it may be changed to other company. So if you click into it, you can see um, I'm currently opening the big ledger tech, uh, taxpayer page. If you want to switch the taxpayer, you can click switch taxpayer. Then here you can see which one you want to use. Then you can switch. Okay. And then after you switch to correct uh, taxpayer, you can click into view taxpayer profile. Under you view taxpayer profile, you can, if you want to update the information of the company, you can add it. And then if you want to update the notification details, you can manage from here. For example, if you want to receive the not a document receive or document cancelled every two hours they can you can update if immediate on time then you can update to immediate on time so this is email currently only have email okay so this is the email address that you will be received the notification then uh here you can see in the intermediary so this is just for your company if you don't have it you can just ignore this part okay after that under here, you can see the representative again. So this is the representative uh, whose we just added from the first page. So this page is for you to manage the permission. For example, if you can see the three dot, you can click this part, then you can edit the permission. So from edit permission here, you can uh, click into and you can see the details and then you can continue. And then you can choose uh, which one they can manage. So you can take to open it or close it. Then you can save it. Okay. After you can save it, you can just close it. So this is the permission for the representative. Then next one is the ERP part. So if you have any ERP to register, so you need to click ERP, register ERP. So here you need to put the uh, friendly name, just a friendly name. So this one is expired date. You can select two year, one year, or three years. Then uh, you can register. After you click register here, you can see the client ID, client secret one, and client secret two. So you must copy this one and then save it because here you need to click I confirm I have copied and saved the client secret. So once you tick and you can click to. Uh, uh, done. So usually this client ID, client secret, uh, you need to send to e your ERP provider for the API purpose. Then after that, we have an uh, intermediary. So for here, uh, you need to add the intermediary from here. Then here you need to put the uh, T number then you need to put the BRN, then you need to put the company name. Through that, you search. So it shows that this company is uh, active intermediary. Then you can continue. Then continue, uh, you need to select the date range from today, maybe until next year. Next year, then this is the permission part. You need to set the permission whether they can submit or they can uh, cancel or they can view or you just open all. 
then you can add. So after you add, it will be updated here. Okay, and then you can still uh, go to this edit button to manage the permission. Okay. Okay. So after you are updating everything, so if there's any document submitted using API or if your supplier submitted to your team, then you can come to this document page to see it, see the list. So here you can see the all. Then if you only want to see the submitted one, you can come to submitted page. Uh, if you want to see the receive one, receive e invoice from supplier, then you can come to receive tab. So this one is still loading. Okay, it, this one is still loading. I'll show you. Uh, okay, so if you want to submit new document directly from my invoice portal, then you need to click a uh, new document to start. Uh, usually, currently, you only can submit one by one. So you can just follow this one to submit the new documentation. Okay. Then other than that, if you still uh, having some problem or still have some issue to understand, you can, they have already put the user guide directly in the My Invoice portal. Then you can check it from here. Here you can see all the user guide, how to uh, manage the ERP, how to manage the intermediary, the, how to submit those documents, everything will be here. You can follow the user guide to use the My Invoice portal. Okay, so do you have any question? Okay, so this is the example of e invoice. This one is valid. Then you can see the details. This one is supplier details. This is the buyer details. So this one was submitted by intermediary. Okay, for our customer, the ERP should be used to pay ledgers. So for this one, I think currently we need to change to intermediary. They need to add big ledger as the intermediary. So you can see from here, they need to go to add intermediary and then put our name company name and then team number, the, also the BRN. Uh, I forgot, is it? I think we need to use the intermediary for now. We change to intermediary, not the ERP. So after that, all the customer need to add the big ledger as the intermediary.